Hey guys, my name is Tori, and today I just want to talk a little bit about Harley Quinn and finding a jumping off point for her for reading her comics. I know a ton of people have become more interested in the character recently, and a large amount of these people don't read comics and frankly have no idea how to start. So maybe you just watched Suicide Squad and somehow didn't kill yourself, or maybe Harley Quinn is just an interesting DC icon you haven't had a chance to delve into yet. Or maybe, let's just be honest, and you're interested in her because she's hot. I'm going to break down the best books to read and things to watch to get the most out of the character's great but complicated history. Are you out of your mind? Yeah. In case of Harley Quinn, there are actually two main versions of the character, which I'm going to call classic and modern Harley Quinn. Classic represents the original cartoony character with the black and red jester costume, while the modern take is more realistic and tries to make the character much sexier. One of my favorite things about Harley Quinn is that she is most commonly referred to as a comic book character, when in fact, she was actually first seen in Batman the Animated Series cartoon, which aired in the early 90s. Originally appearing in episode 22 of the show's first season, Joker's Favor, Harley was actually just a basic henchman of the Joker, and the writers didn't really have many plans for her besides that. To tell you a little more about the character, in case you don't already know. Harley Quinn is actually Harleen Quinzel, a psychiatrist who worked at part prison, part loony bin Arkham Asylum. While there, she ended up meeting and attempting to treat the Joker, but instead of fixing him, she ended up falling in love with the criminal and eventually aided his escape. All of this is summarized in my first recommendation, the graphic novel Batman Mad Love, written and drawn in 1994 by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm, the same genius team who created the previously mentioned Batman the Animated Series. Further expanding on this universe of Harley Quinn, we have a couple of great books that can be read in any order. First we have Batman Harley Quinn, which is seen as Harley's introduction into the Batman comics. The book employs various great art styles and covers many facets of the character through a series of short stories. Another great book, and my personal favorite, is Harley and Ivy, which, you guessed it, stars Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. It's brilliantly written, and honestly it's just a treat to watch as Ivy and Harley's oil and water personalities come together. Finally, we have Batgirl Adventures number one. Like the previous book, showcases just Batgirl and Harley Quinn, but between the writing and the gorgeous animated series art style, it is a must read for fans of the character. Next, we'll go into the new and not really improved modern version of Harley. Harley Quinn has had many re redesigns throughout the years, but some of the largest come in the last two big DC comic events. The New 52 in 2014 and Rebirth in 2016. Both of these events do a lot to overhaul the entire character to fit more with the current direction of the comics. In the case of these events, Harley is most present in a couple of books, Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad. In my opinion, the new Rebirth comics of both these series are improved over their new 52 counterparts. So I would start with them first. Both books in the Rebirth series are ongoing and still easily available at any comic book shop and are the most current version of the character. So overall, my suggestion is start at the basics and watch Batman the Animated Series as it is truly fantastic. Besides that, Mad Love is a great place to start. From there, either pick up more of the classic books I mentioned before or jump into Harley Quinn Rebirth number one and Suicide Squad Rebirth number one. The Rebirth series takes place directly after the New 52, so you can always go back and read those as a lead up to Rebirth. You can find links to all of the books I mentioned below. And if you like this video, let me know, and let me know what you want me to cover next. Thanks!